Now, with his popularity on decline, French President Emmanuel Macron is trying to revive his second mandate. After a year of contested reforms, Macron has now announced a wide array of measures. Last year's reforms have hit Macron's ratings and his chances in the European Parliament elections in June. Now, will these announcements help change the tide for Macron? We will try to decode that. French President Emmanuel Macron on Tuesday promised to breathe new life into his second term, vowing to, quote, break taboos with a raft of measures despite his unpopularity and contested reforms. That came in a rare and lengthy news conference where Macron focused on everyday worries, schools, health care, and the cost of living. Without giving details, Macron also talked about tax cuts for the middle class. Deep down, there's a blind spot in France, which means many of our compatriots earn too much to get help, but not enough to live well. It's the popular France, the middle class France, the France that says when you offer something, it's never for me. It seemed to be a nod to discontent over surging living costs in France that have seriously hit his popularity, as well as his prospects in the European Commission elections in June. His party badly trails behind Marine Le Pen's far-right national rally. In his Tuesday presser, Macron blasted them as the party of, quote, easy anger. Though the president is constrained by a lack of a majority in parliament, he said he would ask his government to launch more liberal reforms to boost the economy. Produce more, innovate more, go faster. This and independence via work and production can be done because more French people will be in the workforce. Macron also announced several measures for parents and children, including regulating their screen time without specifying how it would be done. And that parental leave would be shorter than it is now, but better paid. His appointment last week of 34-year-old Gabriel Attal as France's youngest ever prime minister had signaled the president's desire to move forward and also win back disgruntled voters, tempted by Le Pen's far-right party.